The artist performance room of BMW Tate Live is a box made for a camera and the box you can see on your computers and in that box the artist is going to create something. The museum of the 21st century is not just people who come to admire art, not just people who come and say I like it, I don't like it, but people more and more start to think about museums as a place for mental exercise. This idea is the beginning of a new cooperation between BMW and the Tate Gallery of Modern Art in London. The project defines art in a completely new way. It's called BMW Tate Live. The innovative idea enables artists to perform live in front of the camera for the online public only. The aim? Reaching a worldwide audience. We jointly discover how people interact with a museum or with a car manufacturer. This is what this Tate Journey and Corporation is all about. We want to democratize a premium brand as much as Tate want to democratize an audience that so far was limited to the real artsy people that go to a museum and spend hours there. We are interested in the widest audiences you can imagine. We are particularly aiming at people that prefer the digital channel maybe over the real life or the offline world. The French choreographer and dancer Jérôme Bell first inaugurated the BMW Tate Live Performance Room. Bell's work explores the relationship between choreography and popular culture, dancer and spectator. In a theater I know what happened. I mean, I know if they clap or if they boo. Here, we don't know. And, um, and that's, uh, that's, that's why it's so experimental and that's why we have to work on and see if it's uh, relevant to do these kind of things. The online audience will have the opportunity to chat on the BMW Tate Live page with other viewers at the same time or straight afterwards. Each performance will then be archived and available to view, accumulating into a series throughout the year. The user can start a live stream on the BMW Tate Live page each time a performance is presented. The audience is expecting many different things from museums. They throw at us all kinds of questions, big and small, about families, about identity, about gender, about multiculturalism. And they also want to know where the arts are going to. It's very important for us to create a dialogue beyond the museum. We have similar questions we want to find answers for, as we think that an automotive company and a museum aren't that different with regard to the interaction online, on the digital channel. More and more people use it, more and more people come back, and we need to find out why and how to steer it. No other car manufacturer has more fans on Facebook than BMW, and the same holds true for Tate. Tate wanted to explore new territory, and so did we. Creating an intercultural dialogue based on the knowledge of two partners motivated for transformation. The BMW Tate Live offers art and new work firsthand without any barriers for the audience. Suddenly we want to be co-authors, we want to be co-creators. And just like BMW and Tate are co-creators in this new strand, and BMW and Tate are going to be co-creators for the next four years to come, it's like mirroring, it's like reflecting what's happening in the art world.